Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am testing out a foundation and I'm testing out the number seven Beautifully Matte foundation. So I actually picked this up a while ago um, from Boots, um, but I just haven't got round to trying it yet, but today's the day. So um, I have combination to oily skin, so I tend to go for more matte foundations, but in the winter I do suffer with um, dry skin, so, so I actually like using um, hydrating foundations then as well um, but we have a matte one today it says all day velvet matte perfection it's oil free and it also has SPF 15 which is really really good I have the shade calico which I think was the lightest shade um, I bought on the website and this seemed to be the lightest shade that they did so I'm not sure if this is full medium or light coverage I'm gonna have to see today I actually bought this when it was on offer um, but I think it's around about 12 pounds something like that so it's not um, as affordable as like L'Oreal foundations or Maybelline foundations but we shall see we'll give it a go so yeah let's just get started so I'm gonna prime my face using the Barry M Flawless Hydro Fix Primer Water that's the only primer I use when I test out foundations just because I like to see how they perform on their own so yeah like I said I have the shade Calico and it's a pump and I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Flawless Foundation Brush to apply it. So let's try two pumps. Okay, so that was two pumps and that completely did my whole face. I actually love it. The way it looks on my skin. Matte foundations can be hit or miss because sometimes they're just too dry in. But this one looks so velvety on my skin. It's matte, but it doesn't look dry in at all. Um, I would say the colour is slightly dark. I don't know if you can see, but there is a difference between my face and my neck. Um, not terrible and if I had my hair down like you wouldn't even notice um, but I do feel like they could have um, done a pale paler shade but other than that I really like it I like the way it looks I like the way it feels on my skin it doesn't feel heavy and it looks really really pretty okay so I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera and I will come back with my final thoughts Okay, so I'm back, I've done my makeup, and my face literally looks flawless. I'm loving the way my skin looks. It looks so smooth. My skin looks so soft and smooth, which is really strange because at the moment I have got a little bit of dry skin, and matte foundations would make my skin look dry in, but my skin literally looks flawless. I absolutely love the way this foundation looks on my skin. It looks so natural velvety smooth so comfortable to wear i just hope now that this lasts a long time i hope it lasts all day i hope it's really long wearing because so far everything is perfect about it and i just love that it has spf 15 that's just amazing i can wear this in the summer and not worry about my skin getting exposed to the harsh sun like normal with my foundation reviews i will check back in with you after two hours six hours and eight hours of wearing the foundation so i will film um at those points throughout the day to let you know how it's looking my thoughts but as a first impression goes gets a major major thumbs up from me so i have really high hopes and um, that it's gonna look this good throughout the day so we shall see so yeah i will see you in two hours time to see how it's looking then so see you then okay so i've been wearing the foundation for two hours now and i've been looking in the mirror and there really is no change my skin looks exactly the same as it does when i first applied because it's only been two hours and i'm loving the way that it's looking on me it's looking flawless it's not drying it's not cakey 
it's just looking really really nice but it's still matte at the same time so yeah i'm really impressed with how it's looking so far so i will check back in in another four hours which will have been six hours since i first applied it to see how it's looking then so see you then okay so it's been six hours wearing the foundation and the only change that i can see and i'm sure you can see as well is that my nose is oily um that's the only difference really everything else is looking exactly the same and normally i put a lot of powder on my nose to counteract this anyway but because it was a foundation review and a first impressions i didn't want to do that i just wanted to see how it naturally performs so i just put a little bit of powder on so next time i'll make sure to put a lot of powder on my nose um just because it is it's the only part of my face that's actually really oily everywhere else just looks quite naturally naturally dewy um my nose is just too oily but everything else is looking really good um i'm really impressed fair play is holding on well so i'm gonna keep it on for another two hours and we'll see how it's looking then so see you then okay so it's my final check-in i've been wearing the foundation for almost eight hours now and i just looked in the mirror and i can't believe how good my skin still looks my skin still looks pretty much the same as this morning other than like i mentioned earlier my nose has gone oily but there's no cakiness no dryness which is really unusual for a matte foundation but it looks really really good i know this foundation was a little bit pricier than the foundations that i normally go for but it's so worth it it looks so nice so yeah i guess a thumbs up from me Okay, so that completes my review, wear test and demo of the number seven Beautifully Matte Foundation. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you can see all my other videos. And leave a comment down below if you have tried out this foundation and what did you think of it. So let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!